Two million years ago, the world stood on the edge of change. From the heart of Africa rose a new kind of being, taller, stronger, and sharper than anything that had walked the earth before. They were not beasts, yet not quite the humans we are now. This was Homo erectus. For the first time, instinct began to evolve into awareness. They looked upon the savanna not with fear, but with curiosity, studying how shadows moved, how wind carried scent, how stones broke against one another. In their eyes burned something ancient yet new. Thought. The mind of man had flickered to life, and from that flicker, an entire species would rise. The hands that once grasped in instinct now began to create with purpose. Homo erectus discovered that the earth itself could be shaped, that one stone could sharpen another. The Acheulean hand axe became their signature, balanced, elegant, deadly. With every strike, a spark of understanding grew. This was not luck, it was design. The first true human invention. Around riverbanks and open plains, chipped stones glittered in the dust, proof that the human mind had learned precision. And from those stones came something greater, teaching. One generation showing another how to carve, how to think, how to remember. The story of technology began here, with dust on their hands and vision in their minds. Around 1.5 million years ago, after humanity found they could build their world from stones, then came the most powerful discovery in history, fire. What began as fear soon became fascination. A single spark leapt from dry grass, and Homo erectus saw light where there had only been night. They learned to guard it, feed it, move with it. Flames turned darkness into safety. Around these small circles of heat, everything changed. Food softened. Night stretched longer. Faces gathered close, and stories began without words. Fire was more than warmth. It was control. It was the first time humanity held a piece of nature in its hands and refused to let it die. Fire drew them together, and together they learned to plan. No longer scattered hunters, they became teams, each with a role, each depending on another. The hunt was no longer chaos, it was choreography. Around the morning light, they traced paths in the dust, predicting how prey would run, when the wind would shift. Strategy had entered the human story. With unity came language of motion and sound, of glances and gestures, the first pulse of organized thought. When food thinned and seasons shifted, they followed the wind. Step by step, Homo erectus crossed rivers, mountains, and deserts, the first humans to leave Africa. Curiosity became compass. The world once endless, became a path. From humid jungles to frozen plains they adapted, crafting shelters from what the earth offered. Every horizon conquered carried the same silent message. The mind of man would not be contained. In their travels, something deeper stirred. Thought turned inward, they began to dream and to remember. When one of their own fell, they did not leave the body to the wild. They stayed. They grieved.
the sense of I had become the sense of we. Beneath the stars, they looked into water and saw reflections staring back. Awareness of self, the rarest spark in all of nature, had ignited. Out of fire and stone, from instinct and dream, the human mind was born. Every invention, every story, every act of compassion traces back to them. Homo erectus learned to think ahead, to imagine what could be, and in doing so, shaped the world that would follow. As dawn breaks over their ancient camps, the same light still burns within us. The spark that began in their eyes and became the flame of civilization.